I know that that's from Stranger Things. His Steam profile picture is from Stranger Things. I only play King and Armor King right now, but one day soon I want to start learning Julia, actually. I think it'll be fun so I can show people this character's potential, maybe. I mean, hell, we might be about to see it right now. She's absurd to play against. Where the hell? Fight. The connection feels good already, though. Whoever this is must be close by. Nice break. Good dog. Yeah. And that's the thing, Kyol. I have all these sorts of protein shakes and stuff, but the the problem is I simply have a hard time consuming that many calories in a day. It's it it hurts to eat. I get abdominal pain. Excuse me, I'm kind of gassy right now. I guess it's the soda. Maybe that's what's bothering me. I should have launched it. I get very bad abdominal pains if I eat too much or too little. That's part of what I hate the most about having the J pouch is that everything that I used to take for granted has a price tag now. S simple things like eating, sleeping, going to the bathroom, it all sucks. I'm trying to make the best of it though. Nice, good luck. Nah, I can't drink alcohol with all the medicine I'm on right now, THC. Not safe. In fact, it's very unsafe. Oh, thank you for the colon command, Toby. So yeah, if you read that, that's an explanation of what happened to me. I stopped blocking too early right there. Good duck. Well played. I need to uh, step it up. You lose. Hey, Nyx. Welcome back. Yeah, trust me. I, I have it. I have all the whey protein and the high calorie, the ultra dense boost. And sure, I have all that. Trust me. I've, I've tried everything. I'm very thin, though. I'm, I'm very thin. I'm underweight. Yeah, it's exactly Gab. Drinking alcohol for me would be minus 22 on block. Very unsafe. I'll get launched. Perhaps into the next world. No. Are you serious? Oh! Give me a break. Round two. She has so many good approach tools and keep out. Like, what, is her, what are her flaws? But then again, I guess I shouldn't say anything. Because every Julia player in America knows better than Arsenal Ash. Ten merchandise soon ish. Nice. What kind of merchandise would you like to see with blast clothing items? Round three. Fight. Some Tristan stuff, maybe. Nice breaks. Hey, this Julia player is very good throw breaking. Oh, we got something. Hold on. Let me take a look. Um, hey, Slab. Welcome back. Slab Dabber. Aw, oh, Slab. That's very kind of you to say. I appreciate that. Welcome back to Chen's and Friends, Slab. How are you? Oh. Of course. KO. 
That worked. Slab Dabber, thank you very much. Ten months. Two months away from an entire year. I can't believe it. Welcome back, dude. How are you? Thank you, as always, for the continued support. Welcome back to Chen's and Friends. And as is tradition, show some emotes, Slab. Hey, man, if you guys want hair like this, this is all natural. Oh, her magic four is minus 12. I should have punished that, maybe. That was cheap. A crouch dash into one plus two. KO. <laughs> Who are you playing as, Slab? I don't remember. I remember you. I don't remember that exact set we had. But I'm glad that it impacted you in a good way, I guess. Good break. Nah, you're not getting away with that. Good game. I intentionally waited for her to side roll. Hey, Asmodeus. Wait, what? Who is this? I don't know who this is. Do I? The Quickster? This is Sour Piggy? Why does that name sound so familiar? Round one. Fight. The two break. Big Tijuana. Yes. Guaranteed alley kick there. No. Give me a break. Yeah, exactly, Seltzer's classic Julia. Why would they think it's a good idea to release this character like in this state? I mean, this is even after the nerf, and she's still bullshit. There we go. That's more like it. That was a two-break. I wanted that Chenzo special. Is is he the best Julia? Hey, ball slap. Welcome, dude. If that's the case, I want to see him play against AJ. Very good low parry. Yeah, I, I always think about that, Des. What would the community, you know... What would people say if Horang was a new character in this game? People would say, oh, this character is just all spam. All string cheese. Oh, please. KO. Good game. That's so annoying. Alright, press start. Yeah, everyone would complain. I complain. I don't give a shit. I complain about everything. If I have an opinion about something, I'm gonna, you know, I'm not gonna keep it inside on my own channel. I'm gonna share my thoughts. Complaining is not a bad thing. Yeah, exactly, Selfus. If you can't vent, then it's not worth it. Yes. Oh. 
I think that's the case in every stream, Mateo. Everyone has characters that they don't like playing against, and my stream is... My stream is not totally unique in that regard. Oh, this is not good. Give me a break. Round two. Fight. Oh yeah, keep in mind though, Mateo, not everyone in here has the the ability or the wherewithal to be a top eight Evo finisher. It's just not in the cards for everybody. Oh. KO. Hey, TGC Kyuso, thank you for the follow, Kyuso. Welcome to the Chenzo channel. Well, yeah, and, and but I think that's kind of insulting to say, to imply that they're not trying. You could complain about a character and still, you know, try to get better. Like, look at me right now. If I really hated... I do hate playing against Julia. She's my least favorite character to play against in the entire game. Even worse than Fakarum. I hate this. But I'm not giving up. I'm trying to get better against it. I'm trying to learn more about it. And I hope that I could inspire that attitude with my, my audience here. Good break. How does she have the whiff recovery after that? That does not make sense. Very good low parry. His reactions are very fast. Wow. Good thing I didn't mash. Oh, uh, that's a great question. Who do I hate more, Julia or Bob? Probably Julia. I'd rather play against Bob. They both are very annoying to me, though. The throw breaks. Who does this, uh, what's it called? Tower Piggy? Who do they play usually? Hey, Beyonce, welcome. Wow. Nice. Good with punish. Well played. Oh, Jeremiah, welcome. They are Julia Main, yeah. <laughs> you, a lot of says you won't truly ascend unless you hate everyone. Maybe. Um. Wait. Yeah, I think he he dropped the round. If he did, he should have did the rage art right after, right? Jacacho. Round one. Fight. That was an amazing whiff punish. You see, like, take a player like this who has very good fundamentals and then give them a character like Julia, forget it. It's not fun. Yeah, I know, Senpai. Tell me about it. I, it's like set after set. It's a character that I either dislike playing against or I have a hard time against. Wow. Yeah, especially we met on a walled stage. You're, that's a great point, Selters. That makes it even worse. I pressed one. One plus two.
That's a very good way to uh, win against me personally as well, especially... That wasn't even a counter kick. Good thing I didn't commit. When I play against an opponent who um, has very good throw breaking, it just it ruins all of my momentum. Good game. I'm glad you like it, Des. The people who are on mobile cannot see it, unfortunately. The animated emotes are available on PC only. Are they available on uh, iPad or console? I'm not sure. I do know that you could get them on uh, PC. Yeah, thank you for the good luck, Selters. I need it here. That is some nonsense. I should have did a real punish. I got him at least, but still. Hey, Fog. Welcome back, dude. Yeah, I agree, Black Marvel. Julia is bullshit. The character is bullshit. She's a bullshit character. What are her weaknesses? And again, like I always say, that's not a rhetorical question. That's a serious question. What are this character's weaknesses? Nice. Good low parry. Oh! Ugh. Painful. Round three. Yes, I agree, Mateo. The party crasher, I think, is the biggest thing. Her her approach is too good. I agree. She has too good of approach tools and keep out tools together. I'll take that. I was about to say I could have done uh Hiya! The brain chop. That's good. I'm going for it, I don't give a shit. Oh! Come on, I'm having... <laughs> I'm trying to put on a good show for these people here. Let me get at least one RDC. Come man. Good. Another... I can't do the wake up low kick. This guy is really, really good with his low parry. Like, damn good. Oh my god. KO. Give me a break. Final round. Fight. Yeah, it pisses me off too, Mateo. But while standing... Into the safe mid. Give me a break. It doesn't make sense. Get the hell off. Yes! What? What do you... What, Jermanji? You have something on your mind? You care to share it with the class? Nico, Nico, Nee. Good game. No, I'm curious what you have to say. Like, who who goes into someone's chat and just types something like, um, dot, 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 or sigh, dot, dot, dot. Like, you're baiting people into expecting a response from you. Hey, Daktar Ho. Thank you for the follow, Daktar. Welcome to the Chenzo channel. Welcome. Oh, you're a king player too? Hell yeah. You came to the right place, Daktar. I'm all about king, dude. Round one. Fight. 
And uh, how did you how did you find my channel? Were you scrolling through the Tekken section, or did you find me through Little Majin? Because if you love King, I gotta show guys. Would someone please link the uh, the Majin set on YouTube, please? Yeah, exactly, Doctor Clown. Thank you. She has no shortcomings. There we go. Um, I was in your recommended. Hell yeah. What luck. Hey, I appreciate you uh, taking the time to check it out. But yeah. Aw, Tiago, that's very kind of you. No, I am not perfect. And I never will be. Oh! He is very good with punishment, whoever. Sour Piggy. I've seen the name around, I just don't know who he is. I don't know him. Round three. Fight. Yeah, exactly. I, I agree, Tiny. It's like, I can't hit her. The games that I win against her, I feel extremely lucky. Hello. Yes! The sharpshooter. The two break. Oh, is Yukio's brother? I know, uh... I know Yukio. DF1, all reliable. You see, I have an elbow too, Julia. Oh. God. Hey! I gotta say, I mean, first of all, it's a bad habit of mine. And he's taking advantage of it, which is smart. I mean, he's playing the way he should. We block those. Yeah, Nyuruko, this is the story of my life, isn't it? Oh! Pain in the ass. Fight. It's that. Uh, the Party Crasher is just too good of an approach tool. He's very patient. game. Pain in the ass. You want to get so close. Um, hey, Mofu. Welcome back, dude. Ugh, pain. For the record, I'd, I'd much rather play against Yukio right now than against Sour Piggy. I love playing against Yoshi. Literally my favorite character in the entire game to play against. Tie the hair back. Remind me well, after this. Well. After this game, I'll tie it back. Remind me, Des. You gotta at me. Oh my God, this guy has some of the best low pairing I've ever seen, ever, in my Tekken Seven. Uh, no, I'm not better than the main man, sweet. KO. Round two. You think so, Mateo? I really, I sincerely don't. Maybe at King. Not at the game. He knows much more about this game than I do. And his execution overall is better than mine. I Maybe I better at that King. That's what I would say, sure. Not at Tekken. My crouch jab didn't even connect right there. KO. You did, King Mac? Isn't that a good feeling? Fight. Oh. 
Why in the name of Mother Mary does that high crush? It's too good of a move. That's one of the best moves in the game. Gonna get him the hell away from me. Time up. Round it worked. Fight. Wait, he did? Mofu, that's very nice of him to say. He was a massive inspiration to me. I, I love the main man. When I was sick in the hospital in 2019, oh god. I used to watch Tekken videos on my phone all day in the hospital every day because I, I didn't have a console or a pc or anything to game on so i would just watch videos and i would watch a lot of the main man suite on youtube and i would watch a lot of um tournament sets featuring jdcr playing armor king my favorite things to watch when i was in the hospital it impacted me good game all right. Oh, the hair. Hey, heck. 1991. Hey, no, we're not going to get gone back. Gone is gone forever. I do hope we get Roger and or Alex back, but I don't think we're going to get... Gon is not coming back to any Tekken game ever. Harada confirmed that. For those of you who don't know, Gon was a little orange... Nice. Little orange dinosaur character from a manga. Uh, included as a, a guest slash joke character in Tekken 3 and Unlockable. Oh, that was a misinput! Give me a break. I, I missed the launch. My finger slipped. I hit up forward three instead of up forward four. Um. Hey, heck, I appreciate that, dude. Welcome. You've been here before, right? I feel like I remember your name. Dude, her whiff punishment is amazing. And yes, I personally am very biased towards Roger and Alex for several reasons. One, because I love Tekken 2. And that's where they first appeared, Tekken 2. And two, because they could do a lot of king moves. They could giant swing, they could alley kick, they have a lot of king shit. You know that, right? Toe tap. Hey, grab you later. I need to bait her. That's the only way I could win is if I if I bait this shit out and then punish. Yeah, I'm chilling, grab you later. I wish I could say that I slept better last night, but you know, sometimes the the intestine just doesn't treat me the right way. Good block. Yes! Go over here. Why? Why did I duck? I 
I should have rage drived immediately. I deer in the headlights. Very good throw breaking. I ne Ugh, dude, I hate this. I hate being in between the wall and Julia. See? There's nothing you could do. Very good with punish. Well played. Hey, we got a shout out from Swahili saying, just like the shout out Chen's and friends, greatest group of people to talk to on the interwebs, in a very comfortable environment. I appreciate that. I think everyone appreciates that. Thank you, Swahili. Thank you for being a part of it. Mm. Andy, welcome back, dude. And I will stretch after this. Remind me to stretch, and I'll stretch after this very game. Yeah, I'm trying, Mateo. Like I said, I, I don't want to give up, even though I hate this matchup. I hate it, Here but I, I don't want to give up. Round one. Fight. Hey, Schwan. Welcome, dude. You gotta be... I could have rolling death cradled her right there. Mashing one. How could I not whiff? This character is bullshit. Literally, it's just bullshit. And everybody knows it. KO. Round two. Fight. Yeah, Monk Cash. It's, it's not even a contest. Party Crasher is one of the best moves in the game. Like, by far. I know I always say King's Forward Forward 1 is, but... I would exchange King's Forward Forward 1 for Party Crasher in a heartbeat. If I wanted to create an overpowered character, of course I would. If I wanted King to be as strong as possible, you're damn right I would take her uh, forward forward one. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah, exactly. This is after nerfs and it's still a... Huge pain in the ass. Round three. Yeah, exactly, Schwan. It, so many little bullshit, like, intricacies like that and idiosyncrasies. It makes no sense. What were they thinking? Very good, low card. Ah! That's good. Finally. Come on. I can't give out channel points. It doesn't work that way. Great. Of course. Good game. You lose. Don't forget to subscribe. Get ready for the next battle. This is a huge pain in the ass, you guys. Um. Here I come. Yeah. Oh, Andy, there you are. Oh, I forgot. My bad. You gotta at me. Fight. I didn't see anything. Yes, very, very fair damage here. KO. Round two. Fight. Wow. I know. Isn't that amazing, Tofu? It's, I, 
That's why I kind of, you know, ask myself, why, why is it that the characters who I say are busted or have overpowered features turn out to win everything? It's almost as if I know what I'm talking about. Right, Tofu Chef? <laughs> Good game. All right, let's stretch. Maybe that'll help reset it. You lose. I was a mate. Oh, well, Bin Chang plays Heihachi at the high level. I hope so, Andy. I'm going to try. Yeah, a lot of how long ago would that footage have been recorded? Because that would actually help. It's not that, though. It's not, it's not just Sour Piggy. It's the character. Here I come. It's Julia the character that is bullshit. Round one. Fight. Like, don't get me wrong, I think that this player, Sour Piggy, would be able to succeed with any character. I could tell they're very fundamentally strong, but playing against this character is especially frustrating. Especially because every Julia main that I've talked to said, oh no, she's not that strong. She's in the bottom half of the roster in terms of strength. Round two. Nah. Fight. Nobody downplays like a Julia main. Nobody. Maybe Jin players. Two break. T wanna. Finally, good lift on this. Hey, there we go. Let's see what makes some stuff happen. Andy, I think you were right, man. The stretch. Round three. Fight. Gotta focus. Very good block, damn. Hey, boss, welcome. something hold on I'll be right there um Nairo 997 thank you for the follow welcome to the Chenzo channel uh, you joined us at an interesting time normally I'm not this frustrated and flustered by a matchup but there we go good game we're bringing it back Andy that stretch worked thank you Um. Oh, yes. Trying to go through some of the uh, Discord notifications. I have to remember to put that Brooks converter. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Swahili. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're trying to grow on YouTube. I finally started uploading consistently. It's about damn time, right? Fight. Better late than never. Ah! Oh, I was a little late on the throw break attempt there. There we go.
Give me a break, G Cliff. Yeah, Jink, welcome back, dude. You got a gift sub. Oh my god. Good with punish. What? How? How did I not pick her up? Very good, low parry. This guy's reactions are very quick. Hey, Frozar, carry you. No, because we were next to the, we were next to the wall. It works against every character, or at least it should have. Maybe we weren't as close as I thought we were. Nah, not gonna let me get away with the King's Bridge. Yes! Come on. That would have been cool if that worked. I would have loved it. Wow! Very good low parry. I gotta say, man, how many times? I've been low parried at least a dozen times this set. This is one of the best low parriers I've ever played against, ever. Of course. Good game. Oh, it depends on what opponent I'm playing against, Rev Stick, when I do the people's elbow after down forward 2-1. If I'm played against a female character and we're out in the open, not next to a wall, then yeah, I'll go for the people's elbow, followed by either the power crush or by a uh, alley kick. It all depends. If I'm against a big body character or a male character, then I usually go for the extension and perhaps the burning knuckle if I'm feeling very bold. Alright, at least the chain throws are working for me. Ultron, welcome back. Oh, Zafina. A million times over, I'd rather play against Safina. I hate playing against Julia. This character shouldn't be in the game in this state. It's not fun. There's nothing fun about this. Because even when I win, I feel like I just got lucky. And like I said, I mean, everyone always says, Oh, Chenzo, you're the, you're the positive Tekken guy. But I'm just, I'm being honest with you. Oh, I could have, I could have launched it, right? I'm not going to bullshit you guys and... Pretend that I'm feeling feelings that I'm not actually feeling. If something's pissing me off, you'll you'll know it. Yes! Come on. No way. Perfect. That was quite a sequence. I miss Michelle. Yeah. Fight. For those of you who are new to Tekken, or new to Tekken 7, either way, Michelle is Julia's adoptive mother and mentor. Here we go. Good muscle buster. Yes! Finally! Good game. Hey, and no round brown too. How do you like that? But yeah, I hit Ultron any day, any time. I'd rather play against Safina, big time. I'm trying here, Selthris. It's easier said than done, but we're pulling some. Oh my god. Triple S plus. This is ridiculous. Round one. Fight. Nice break. Excellent. Good 
power crush. All right, we're at four rounds in a row. Let's see if we can do Fight. something. Come on. Oh! I didn't mean to do that. I meant to stay ducking. That G clef is so annoying. What is that on block, by the way? If I block the whole uh, G clef cannon. Good with punish. I thought for sure my alley kick would hit. Minus 14. All right. God. Yes! Come on. Hiya! Nah. Duck and punish. Round four. Fight. Yeah, that's the Paul theme song from Tekken 2, which I love. And I always say, this song is exactly what New York City felt like in the middle of the 90s. It really is. I was there, man. I saw it in real life. I saw the Twin Towers with my own eyes when I was a little kid. Oh, God. That's good. Gotta be kidding me. Thank God. Good game. Ugh. That was sick. Yeah, they did, Frozark. The old Tekken soundtracks had so much more personality, so much more soul. They took you places. Every character had their own theme song. Every character had their own unique stage. There was so much personality. I miss it. It's just not the same right now. It's a different game. Different franchise, I guess. Yeah, I'm trying, Dickie. It's easier said than done. Yeah, thank you, Mateo. I'm trying to be patient here. Hey, Smuv Money. Welcome, dude. That was a counter hit. I could have done something bigger. Good block. That was cool. Round two. Fight. Really? I, I I have a feeling, guys. You can quote me on this. I have a feeling that in a few years, when Tekken 7 is, uh, you know, not the game in the Tekken franchise, we're going to look back on this soundtrack. We're going to say, you know what? This music was good. I think it is. I think the Tekken 7 soundtrack is kind of underrated. Yes. Hey, Voldemort. Welcome, dude. You know what I miss? And I talked about this yesterday. One of my favorite songs, the entire franchise. The um, Sheep level. Hidden Retreat, Tekken 6, or as I call it, the Hidden Valley Ranch. I should have used the chest bump there. In fact, I should be using chest bump way more often in the first place. Especially when up close against this bitch. Watch, you see? Oh. Good 
game. Another no round brown. Maybe we're finally adapting against the Julia. Is it possible? Hey, bueno. You're right, and I'm a very nostalgic individual. Hey, Indy. How are you, dude? I appreciate that, dude. We made it to top 48 in the Evo. I'm surprised. I didn't expect to uh, do that well, but we're looking good. How are you, Indy? Hey, Valio. Welcome back. Um. Oh, you're playing against the same player, Mateo? Fight. Devil Jin player, right? Who I just ran into earlier? Ah. We block those. That counter hit is so satisfying. Especially when it leads to a KO that's just beautiful. Round two. Fight. Hey, Asendesu, how are you? Yeah, Tag 1 was a great game. That was one of my favorite PlayStation 1 games. Excuse me, PlayStation 2 games. That was one of my first PlayStation 2 games also. I loved it. What? How the hell did that... Oh. King theme song. Power me up, please. That was a counter hit. Alley kick. Hey, Rix. Oh, <laughs> I appreciate that, Rix. That's very kind of you to say. How are you? Good block. Good game. Guys, we did two no round rounds. We're adapting. I think I'm playing more patiently. I think... I don't know, I must have done something to have them a little uh, more hesitant to approach me. They seem more apprehensive, you see that? Oh yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that, Indy. Things are looking good all around. If you saw as well on Twitter, we are finally sponsored. My first official sponsor. Artesian Builds, a PC, a gaming PC company. Oh, I love, oh, don't get me started, Schwan. Dude, I love Cinemassacre, but I'm very disappointed in the current state of the channel. That's a whole conversation I could have. I love classic Angry Video Game Nerd. I grew up with it. But... The current state of the channel is not very good, I'm afraid. Nothing lasts forever, you know, it's just sad. But yes, I love the classics, dude. I'm gonna take you back to the past. Oh, too risky. Oh, it's a long story, Revstick. It was basically taken over by a corporation. Oh, there we go. There's just, and like I was saying, there was no, just like in the music in this series, there doesn't really seem to be much soul or heart left in the Cinemassacre productions that I used to love. Round three. Hey, Josie, how are you? Yeah, you know it. Everybody, I feel like a lot of us gamers know it. But I was a huge fan. I actually saw him live in person. I didn't meet him, uh, James Rolfe, but I saw him, I saw his movie. That's where everything started to go downhill, actually. I saw his movie, the Angry Video Game Nerd movie, in New York City a few years, well, not a few years ago. This is like in 2014, actually. Damn, time flies. But I saw his film, and it was disappointing. It was not a good movie. It was just not. And uh, a lot of the old school fans felt the same way, but I, I saw it in person. game. Alright, I think we just run... <laughs> we won nine rounds in a row. Damn. Exactly, Dr. Clown. Let me read that out loud. Dr. Clown PhD. That is accurate and succinct. Corporations always be taking over and not understanding what makes something so good. I agree. 
And it's sad, but true. Wow, we won five in a row? Holy shit. Yeah, Seltzer, something's happening here. Making it work. Round one. Fight. <laughs> I gotta start. Oh, I gotta start launching it for that. Any punish is better than no punish. As long as you're not putting the opponent into rage instead of KOing them. Oh. Yeah, Valio. Uh, if you learn Kazumi, I, I think Kazumi's a great character to learn Tekken with in the first place. She teaches you fundamentals. Like you said, punishment is crucial. The delay there, guys. You saw that? Good float. Uh, that's a great question. Schwan asks, do I think Rage Arts are here to stay forever? Um, I don't know. But, I do say this. If I had to pick... Shit. If I had to pick between Rage Arts and Rage Drives to stay in Tekken, I'd absolutely say Rage Arts. Rage Drives are just better versions of moves that your character already has. And they're basically just comeback buttons. Or win more buttons. Like, think about it. And I'm playing as the character who has the best Rage Drive in the whole damn game. So I think I'm allowed to say it. Rage drives are cheap. They don't belong in Tekken. It's basically just to uh, think about it. These be plus nine on block. It's a safe mid launcher on normal hit that is plus nine on block. That's ridiculous. It doesn't. Rage arts, like I always say, at least with rage arts, you're gambling with your life. If your opponent blocks the Rage Art with most characters, 99% of the time, you, you get KO'd, you lose the round. I think that's fair. Oh my god. That blind kick worked because we were next to the wall. Good game. Six in a row. What an adaptation. Yeah, it's fast. I think it's, if you type in exclamation point frames, it'll take you to my favorite frame data website, RB Norway. Thank you, Selfish, we're doing it. I think they should be removed for Tekken 8. Rage Arts can stay. And they're hype. Rage Arts are way more hype than Rage Drives. The animations are fun. Oh god. Most of the time. Yes! Sharpshooter. Yeah, it's friggin' fast, dude. God. No. That is nonsense, actually. Oh, spin faster. Hurry up. Come on. <gasps> One second left. Round two. Oh, Christ. You want to clip that, Selthers? That was pretty. <laughs> that was pretty. <laughs> that was something. Thank you. 
<laughs> I know you... <sighs> I was feeling it, the anxiety, Indy. That was ridiculous. Good duck. Another nice duck. of a move they already have. Yeah. <sighs> Pain in the ass. Fight. Yo, HA, welcome back. And Lesio, welcome. Oh, good block. Um, oh yeah, Schwan, are you still here? Schwandy? Hey, Demon Maid, welcome. Shit. Nah, 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 nah. Good game. You're not getting away with that. Oh, there you are. I was going to ask. Um, thank you, Selters, for the clip. That's a great one. Could you put that in the Discord, please? I know you will. Thank you. Um, how did you come to ask me about the Cinemasker? Did you just read that in my About Me section? Or was it just a random, like, spur of the moment? Because, yeah, guys, if you scroll down and read my About Me, read all about, you know, my favorite games. I have a whole list of my favorite games of all time. I can talk about all day, every day. And uh, also, if you just read my About Me at the top, my, it'll have a list of my present obsessions over the past year. Things that I've been mentally fixated upon for quite some time. Yeah, I did take it, Thorn. I mean, against Julie, like I said, she has so many good approach tools and ways to open up the opponent. I didn't want to risk it. Yasin, welcome back. I remember you, Yasin. Nice, good duck. Um, oh wait, Yasin, what the hell? I thought you were following years ago. Welcome back to Chen's and Friends. Thank you for the follow. But wait a minute, I'm pretty damn sure. Weren't you following many, you know, months ago? Nice. Yes, I am obsessed with the chinchilla demon maid. I'm serious. And I know I was talking about this the other day. I don't know why. I mean, I do know why, but... Give me a break. Round three. Fight. Yeah, I have big nostalgia about it too, Schwan. I'm all... I'm... Like I said, I'm a very nostalgic individual. I love the past. I miss the 90s very much. Oh, nice. Get off. Of course, of course, I duck at exactly the wrong time. Round four. Fight. Oh, that's a good setup. Yes. Your favorite Pokemon is Charizard? Right now, my favorite Pokemon is Minchino. 
because Minchino is a chinchilla. I don't know why I, I became so obsessed with the with the chinchilla. I actually saw something in the news recently about there's a colony. I'll show you. I'll, there's a colony of 25 chinchillas. They're an endangered species, and they're in uh, the mountains in Chile. 25 of them are in this one colony, and they're sitting on top of a gold mine with like six or seven billion dollars worth of gold. But the miners can't get into the mine. They can't go underneath without disturbing the chinchillas. And the chinchillas don't want to move. So <laughs> they're trying all these different things to try to bait the chinchillas into leaving the area, but they don't want to move. And there are 25 of them blocking a seven million dollar, seven billion with a B, billion. Seven billion dollars worth of gold underground that the chinchillas are blocking and they don't want to they don't want to move I think it's funny. I Mean they're in danger. They're being hunted for for millennia. They shouldn't have to move But you know Oh good comeback. Well played Yeah, yeah, there are many videos of them taking dust bath. It's very very cute Yeah, um, it's Google it. They're in Chile they're protecting the mine. <laughs> yeah, they're protecting it. I think it's funny. If you if you Google it right now, you'll see it. Yeah, they're hoarding the gold here, right, Demon Maid? It's pretty funny. They're very cute. I'm obsessed with the chinchilla. I don't have one though. I don't have any pets in my house right now. All we have we have Tristan at my girlfriend's house. You press one. The break. That shove is King's most overpowered move. Fight. Wait, when you see when you say fastest combos, what do you mean fastest combos? I don't I don't know what you mean. That can mean a lot of things. It depends in terms of frame data, in terms of how many moves are in the combo. What do you mean? Oh, I should have low parried that. Again, deer in the headlights. Oh my god. That little lag spike right there almost botched the combo for me. I would have been quite upset. Hey, Flawless, welcome back. Dude. What's going on? What a duck. How do you like that? Hey! So cheap. Okay, this is good. Yeah, we're ranked right now. We're getting back into it. Good game, the sharpshooter. That's a two break. Hey, welcome back, PD. Good game. Uh, I still am not really sure the context of your question, Yasin. Can anyone... Hey, Sean, dude. What's going on, dude? How are you? Welcome. Hey, I heard you had a nice vacation in Hawaii. How was it, dude? 
I heard that they love having you. Fight. Oh! That one hurt. How did my below the belt not connect right there? All right. You know what also helps, guys? I'm all oh, minus 14. I'm not as frustrated uh, over the past 30 minutes. I'm way less frustrated now than I was about 45 minutes ago in this set. Because I, I adapted. I feel more confident in the set. Good duck. Nice break. Perfect. Cheap. Yeah, I do have to go one day. Fight. Nice, good duck. Yes, definitely counter hit. I felt that one. Yes! Guaranteed alley kick. No. You gotta be kidding me. What do I say, guys? Block and punish. It's the secret of Tekken. Oh, of course, as soon as I announce on stream that I'm using the two break one, he presses two. Isn't that kind of curious? Really gets the old noggin jogging. Oh! Oh, nice slide. Duck and punish. Good game. Yo, guys, something's happening here. I'm adapting. I'm playing Tekken. That's the thing. Against a player like this, you have to play fundamental, patient Tekken. That's what it comes down to. You got demoted to first dawn. You'll get back up. It's all about the frames, Flawless. You got to block and punish. Hey, Baloo9. Baloo, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Chenzo channel. Make yourself at home. Fight. Oh. The pushback was pretty strong. You saw that? At tip range, Atlas Hammer is good pushback. The Nico Nico Knee. Fight. Uh, bonjour, Craig Marduk. I speak English, but I know a little bit of French. There we go. Good block. Big pancake! Oh shit. KO. The elbow, so reliable. Fight. Yeah, I should have assumed that's what you meant. Flawless, your data got erased. It happens that way. Hey, Craig Marduk89, thank you for the follow, Craig. Welcome to the Chenzo channel. I'm I'm guessing you're a Marduk player from France, maybe, or Canada. Yeah. 
Excellent block. How the hell did they know? Of course, the moment I stop blocking. The rage drive is so cheap. Yes. Oh yes, Iron Twitch, welcome. That is a miniature replica of the Mortal Kombat 2 cabinet made by a company called Arcade 1UP. And it's uh it contains MK1, 2, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Oh, is this it? Yep, there it is. Oliver got it. Thank you. Crouch dash four. Good game. That's a fine move. It's a good mid. Underrated. Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. Uh, yeah, that's a good move as a round ender. You're right, flawless. I should. You're right. I should be less hesitant to use that move. Good call. You're right. It is safer. Yeah, thank you, Selfers. I'm trying to make it happen here. Yep. I say it all the time. It's a good round ender. I usually use it as Oki, but in general, I think it's a fine move. I should use it way more. You're right. Don't hesitate to remind me about it. Round one. Fight. Ah! What the hell is that? Oh, that was a counter hit. KO. Round two. Irish whip. Fight. Tofu, is that what you're talking about? I don't really like to go for the Irish whip too often. Very good sidestep. As you can see, my back one has a narrow hitbox. Look at the damage from that. Ridiculous. Yes. King's cheapest move. That shove. Hey, Mano. Welcome. Give me a break. You are not getting away with that. Forward four, that's a good round ending tool. Um, PD asks, have I done Rolling Death Cradle on a match? Oh, many times, many, many times. I've Rolling Death Cradled on promotion games. I think I tweeted it a couple months ago against the Leroy I promoted with Rolling Death Cradle. What is my favorite food? That's a good question. I have to think about that actually. There's really not much that I could eat these days that doesn't bother me, unfortunately. Let me think about that. I like sushi. Lately, I've been eating a lot of sushi. It's good for me. The rice is easy for my system to digest without a large intestine. I love sushi. It's actually one of the few things that doesn't bother me. Yeah, I like it too, Demon Maid. All sorts of salmon rolls and crunchy. T oh! They love to sidestep, huh? KO. Yeah, I like all that stuff. Round two. Yeah, it's a good move, Flawless. It's underrated. 
A lot of King players say it's not that good. I think it's better than they think. You see, look at that. And if they don't move, you get that pickup. It's good. Beautiful. Oh, shit. I forgot she could do that. I can't use the, uh... She tried to grab me right there. You saw that? I tried to get the Rolling Death Cradle right there. That Magic 4 is so powerful. That was beautiful. Good game. The counter hit blind kick. That is so satisfying. Get ready for the next battle. 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 Shwarma. Oh, like lamb shwarma. Whoa, guys, don't. Keep it. Keep it normal in here. I don't want it to become degenerate, please. Round one. Fight. She's a video game character. Seventy damage into the wall. Hey, Jack Fro, welcome back, bro. Forward two. Round two. Yeah, I want to keep it classy. One warning. Ah. Uh. Good block. Yeah, thank you, Mateo. Thank you. I trust you. Ugh, painful. Uh, Hatsune Shmixu. Hatsune, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Chenzo channel. Did I say that the right way? I'm pretty sure I did. Maybe. Nice break. Pressure. KO. Round four. Fight. Devastating. Oh, good block, good block. That's how we do it. Good game. You win.